Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at primitive data types. Now what these are is pretty much the building blocks of all the programs you're going to make. Now I've broken this down into several different categories. Starting at the top we have primitive data types. This is divided into three more subsections. We've got numbers, characters, and logical. Now under the numbers category we have integers. Now this is all numbers that aren't decimals or don't have decimals. We have byte, which is a very small integer number that can hold a value uh, starting at negative 128 all the way up to positive 127. Now if you go past that, what has happened is called overflow and you will get an error in your program. We've got the short data type right here which is a 16-bit type and it has a value that can span from negative 32,768 all the way up to 32,767. Now we have the int type for the integers. Now this is the type that we're going to be using most of the time most of the time in our tutorials because we don't need to use byte or short um, pretty much because we don't have to conserve resources we're not making programs that are so big that we need to use these to conserve the pro to conserve the resources and an int is just big enough for us to use and um, we won't ever go outside the realms of that and an int data type is 32 bit and it can have a minimum value of negative two billion one hundred forty seven million four hundred eighty three thousand six hundred eighty four and the maximum value is two billion one hundred forty seven thousand four hundred eighty three I mean two billion one hundred forty seven million four hundred eighty three thousand six hundred forty seven and over here we have long now what long is is it's pretty much self-explanatory it's a long integer it's a 64-bit uh, type and it can have a maximum value of uh, let's see nine this is nine uh, what comes after trillion hold on here now the maximum value of a long is nine quintillion two hundred twenty three quadrillion three hundred seventy two trillion thirty six billion eight hundred fifty four million seven hundred seventy five thousand eight hundred seven and the minimum value of that is pretty much that negative but instead of ending with 808 it I mean, in 807 it ends with 808 now there are other data types in Visual Basic that I'm not going to cover in this such as big integer which is something that has been added in the .NET Framework 4.0 and from what I've read about it um, it does not have a limit so um, feel free to play around with that if you can find some places online that will show you how to use that and now uh, moving on we have real numbers now what real numbers are is um, anything that can hold a decimal value now we have double and float now double is a 64-bit uh, data type and it can hold let's see um, it's a 754 floating point uh, which may not mean much to you but what that pr basically means is that it can hold a really long decimal and a float is a variant of the double it's a uh, quite similar and now moving on to characters we have what's called a character which holds one character such as the letter A or the letter T or G it just holds one of those and now one thing I added in the list that isn't technically a primitive data type but um, I thought that I should teach you guys this in, the, in this tutorial is a string now it's pretty much a bunch of characters put together you saw this in the hello world tutorial it's enclosed in two quotes and it can hold as many uh, characters as you want and spaces and other stuff and now last but not least we have logical now under logical we have boolean and boolean is a data type that can hold a value of true or false now you'll find this very useful when you start making programs so um, take a look at this chart um, make sure you remember all of this we're going to be working with these data types coming up in the next tutorials um, stay tuned for the next one and don't forget to comment like and subscribe